So not 100% sure like the actual dates when we're talking about A day, B day and Wednesdays and all that, right? But uh, regardless if I had you on Wednesday or not, um, weeks ago, maybe a month and a half longer, uh, when we started the new fitness logs, I went over that. Um, in addition to that, shortly after, I started talking about fitness goals during Wednesday Zoom. And whether it was your class, which I think it was, or the B-Day class, regardless of which class it was, I recorded it and I put it on the other classes page. So either way, you should have watched it. Whether you were in class, whether you were live on Zoom in a Wednesday class, or if it fell on the other classes, you should have watched it. That's number one. Number two, if you didn't watch it, that's on you, okay? Number three, if you watched it or you didn't watch it and you didn't understand maybe the fitness um, goal part of that log, or maybe I uh, unsubmit it to you or write a comment that you might not understand, it's your responsibility to reach out to me and, and ask me questions. I mean, that's what, first of all, that's what Wednesdays are for, right? But that's part of your responsibility as a student, okay? And I have consistently, time and time again, said the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Now, since September, since we've been asynchronous, right? We've been asynchronous this whole time, um, unless you come into class, into school, and I see you once a week, if that. Um, I have told you in the beginning, way in the beginning, right? When something was wrong or maybe you missed something, I would always comment and then I would message the student as well. So I would comment, message the student, unsubmit, explain, 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 explain. And I did that for a good amount of time. But you know, you get to a point in the school year where there should be a little bit of a routine and then there should be a little bit of accountability on the student as well. So when a routine continues and begins and, and continues, it's really like, it should just be known, okay? But here we are, March 2nd, 2021, and I'm getting people message me in this class and the other class, not just this class. Um, why did you unsubmit my, uh, my assignment? Uh, I keep submitting it and you keep unsubmitting it. Did you read the comments? There are no comments, but did you read other assignment comments? What comments? These are the conversations I'm, I'm having with, not everybody, a few people. And it's getting to the point where it's like, this has been what we've been doing from the beginning. And maybe it has to do with maybe a lack of showing up on Zooms for some people. It might have to do with a lack of uh, doing the actual activity. Right. So when we BS a, a fitness log, because I can't, let's be honest, I can't ask you for a video. Right. So if you're going on there and you're kind of just, you're not doing the workout, you don't really know what, what, um, you know, health related fitness components are because you're not really doing the workout. So how would you really know what relates to that workout if you didn't at least watch the video? Right. So you're getting that wrong. And then you're going down to the goal and you have to figure it out, which was changed over the last couple months, right? It can, it can be very confusing. Now, look, I'm not saying that the people that are getting the fitness goals wrong are not working out or are not doing it. That's not what I'm saying, okay? What I'm saying is there needs to all, I'm saying that could be part of it for some people, which I can already tell based on the wording and based on I've, I've, I've known you guys in a sense virtually since September, right? So like, I, I'm, I'm not, I, I know, okay? But there needs to be a sense of like, hey, you know what? I don't really understand this. I'm getting this sent back to me or I'm getting a bad grade. Maybe I should just ask a question, right? I, as, and as the teacher, I went over the fitness goals. And there were, I believe there's five parts to it. And it really just says, make it 
measurable, make it more specific. Okay, losing 40 pounds by June, unhealthy, unattainable, right? It, it's measurable. You can measure that like, okay, I want to lose 40 pounds. You have a time, you have a time limit. That's, that's specific and that's, that's correct. But losing 40 pounds by June is unattainable and unhealthy. So that's just one example, okay? Some people are saying that they want to lose fat off of their hips by next month. <laughs> that could take years, number one. And number two, that specific goal is not measurable. All right. Some of you are thinking too crazy out there. Keep it simple. Any of you who do go to the gym or maybe you have some weights at home, let's say um, you really want to work on your arms. A lot of, there have been a lot of you that have talked about toning your body. I want to tone my body. I want to tone my abs. I want to get a two pack by next week, right? What does toning mean? Do you even know what that means? How can you measure that? So instead of thinking, you know, so, you know, specific, I want a six pack abs and I want to lose 50 pounds by here. Let's just tone it down a little bit, make it easier for you, because I feel like some of you are thinking this is too difficult and it's really a lot more simple. So I'm going to give you a few examples that might help you eventually reach those long-term goals by being toned, right? By losing love handles, by losing those 40 pounds by June, right? All of those goals are great goals. They're way long-term goals, like way long-term. It's not something you can just do in a few weeks or even in a couple months. But a few examples of to try and reach those would be, you know, I want to be able to do 200 crunches in a row without stopping by June. So you're giving me a number, 200 crunches, okay? In a row, you're getting specific. And by June, you're giving me a date. And that is doable. It also depends on how many can you do now? You know, can you do zero now or could you maybe do 30 or 40 in a row now, right? And that's specific to the person, but that's a good goal. And it's simple, okay? You're not telling me you want a six pack. We all want a six pack, but that can be very difficult. But you're telling me that you wanna be able to do a certain exercise, a certain amount of time by a certain date. That's a good goal, okay? Um, somebody said that they wanna be able to do one pull-up by the end of this month or I think it was the end of this month, I'm not sure. Now doing a pull up where you're on the bar here and you're hanging and then you pull yourself up, one sounds kind of sim simple. The average for a female body ages your age to like 35. The average pull up is one, zero to one actually. It's a very difficult um, thing to do. So, you know, and this person that had this goal She's very, she's a very fit person. She works out often. She's an ROTC. So that might be a good goal for her. Okay. Now for some of you who don't work out and you don't really like it, maybe doing a pull-up might not be your thing. Maybe you want to get your arms toned. A lot of you guys use the word toned, right? Maybe you want to get your arms toned. That's okay. But instead of using the word toned, maybe you can say, I want to be able to do five real push-ups, like going to 90 degrees and not on your knees, right? Real push-ups by Hello. Hello. <laughs> That's my daughter. Okay, baby. Go, go. Go. Go, go, go. Sorry, guys. This is what happens when you work from home. Sorry, guys. Um, but if you want to be like, let's say you can't do any push-ups. Zero. Okay. Push-ups is a really interesting workout. And the cool thing about push-ups is it, it really helps with your entire upper body, your chest and your triceps, which is the back of your arm here, mostly including your shoulders. And it's really good because when you're holding your body straight, it also helps with your core. So that could be something that you might want to think about. If you want to get toned, 
Okay. You can think of maybe like doing um, a push up or even a plank. You know, you, you, if anyone doesn't know what a plank is, let me know. I'll let you know. But a plank and holding yourself for a certain amount of time, that could be another one. I want to be able to hold a plank for one minute. And if you can't even hold yourself for five seconds, Maybe you want to make that goal shorter and say like, I want to hold it for 40 seconds. But if you can hold a plank right now for 30 seconds, but not, not, not more than that, maybe you want to make that goal for like a minute and a half. Okay. It all depends on you and what you can do now, but those are better goals. Instead of using the term toned, or I want to lose fat, or I want to lose weight, um, thinking about a specific exercise and getting better at that shows your muscle endurance, which will also increase your strength. All right. And with dieting will help you get that toned look. Okay. So I don't want you guys to feel like I'm, I'm trying to like pinpoint and make you guys work so hard and figure stuff out. I don't want you to feel that way. And by some of the messages I've been getting, I've kind of thought that, and I don't want I want this class to be something that you can use to motivate yourselves. In addition to this, your goals do not have to change every week or every fitness log that you do. I had one person give me a really good goal for one of their fitness logs. And then two days later, when they had their next fitness log, they completely changed their goal. Why? Being able to... Um, I want to do 20 push-ups by May. Right now I can only do five. I want to be able to do 25 by May. That's a good goal. You might even be able to get it before May. Who knows? Depends how long you work on it. But that's a good goal. And you don't have to change it every single time. You can just copy it and paste it into the next fitness log. Okay? So here's the deal. And I'm going to say this again. I have this class and my other class, right? But I also have two adaptive classes and six health classes. So think about all your other teachers. They all have five classes. A couple of them might have six. I have 10. I have 10. I have double the amount of classes, which means I have double the amount of kids. So when I'm grading these, yes, I really try my best to write a comment. I'll unsubmit it write a comment, but I can't message you. I can't message you guys anymore. You should know the deal by now. You're not going to get a notification when I unsubmit an assignment. Now that's the annoying part with Schoology, right? But I can't message every single one of you every time I unsubmit it, which is why I told you a long time ago to please check your graded fitness logs. It takes a couple minutes to click on my class Go to your assignment that you did a couple days ago when you're about to start your other assignment for my class and just click on it. Scroll to the right, see if there's any comments and then, and then move on, move upon your day. Okay. Um, there really shouldn't be any confusion because I feel as though I've already said this multiple times. And for the many of you in here, about half or so, I apologize if, if you know this and you're doing what you need to do. And the other issue is there's 15 of you here when we have a class of double that. <laughs> so that's, that's also an issue too. Okay. So talking to me about what you're going to do, it's a great, but if you're not specific with your goal, then you're going to have an issue. Now, if those of you are still confused, okay, I'm going to share my screen. And it, I did this already. <laughs> Look, week of 2-8. This folder contains the Zoom recorded video lesson on fitness goals. And so for those of you that were wondering what, um, what are you talking about when you say refer to the video on fitness goals, I literally wrote it right here in bold red. I don't know how many other teachers that you guys have do that for you, but I am very organized if you can't tell because I'm very type A crazy. And all you have to do is just, just click that. Look, Zoom recording, how to create your own fitness goal. So if you're ever confused, just, just click that. You can look at it. And if you don't want to hear me speaking, you can scroll down and look at it yourself. 
You can click here to make it bigger, or you can just go here, look, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely. That's what I'm looking for. Those five things is what I'm looking for. Now, are there any questions? Because there are some of you in here that I was referencing to about, you know, maybe not understanding and continuously sending in the same stuff. Some of you guys are also sending in the same fitness logs every single class. I'm, I've noticed that just to let you guys know. I, I, I appreciate that some of you really like certain activities and that gets you motivated to work out and that's great. I don't want like hula hooping every single time as your fitness log for 30 minutes, okay? I mean, if you're a runner and you like to run and that's your fitness goal every week and your, or I'm sorry, your fitness activity every week and your goal has something to do with like maybe increasing your mile time, that's fine. That's another thing. If those of you are interested in like maybe working on cardio um, endurance and your goal can be right now, my one mile time is nine and a half minutes. I wanna be able to cut my mile time by 30 seconds. So I want to try and get to nine minutes and 10 seconds to run a mile by May 2nd. I don't know. Okay. I, I want you guys to really understand. And I'm promising you, if you have a question right now, there's probably other girls here that have the same question and they're just like scared to ask. So if you don't want to ask it out loud and unmute yourself, you can DM me here and I can answer it to everybody if you'd like. Um, because I promise you, everyone probably has the same, same stuff here. Okay. Um, when you are in class, you're supposed to submit a fitness log. And at the top, when it says, it says like activity, you'll write, I was in class today. And then submit that. Um, if I unsubmitted it, maybe I didn't see that. And so that's my prop, my fault. So I apologize for that. So you can just resubmit that to me. Just make sure it says I was in class. Um, sometimes for some reason people submit stuff and it comes blank to me and I send it back and I just write, this is blank. And it could be a mistake. Sometimes that's happened and it sucks on your end if you wrote the whole thing out and then it's gone. But I don't know, maybe that's like a Schoology thing. Any other questions at all? Guys, seriously, there's a number of you who are struggling with this and I don't really know why. I've already like kind of repeated today what I've already repeated. I'm hoping that you guys understand that because I gave a bunch of different examples. And here's another thing. Let's say you have a fitness goal in your head and you're like, I don't know if Diamond's gonna accept this. Like I'm, I'm pissed off. Like, I don't know. Why don't you just message me on, on Schoology and say, hey, this is the goal I'm thinking. What do you think? Is it good? Do you like it? Like Miss Diamond. Yeah, what's up? Can I stay like a couple minutes after the Zoom ends? Sure. Okay. Anyone else? All right, guys, you're free to go. Have a good day.